Hello everybody and welcome back to LMM and today I'm here at a car show at Helmingham Hall which is one of, in my opinion, the best shows in at least East Anglia, possibly wider I feel because it's got such a wide variety of different cars and this was a show that this time last year my Turbo MR2 was meant to attend to before it spontaneously failed and was sent off to a garage to never be heard from again. So today I'm just going to have a wander around and enjoy looking at some cars because what better thing to do? There is a super, super blend of things like the Mustangs going from nice and old, well, ignoring that one, over there, some of the new ones, and swinging around. It's like it when you've got the old and new next door to each other. It just gives you this really interesting comparison of how things have evolved. Ooh, look at all the modern minis. I could have bought my mini and had it in the show. It looked right at home with all of these. Well, maybe not. They are a little more shiny than mine. Now, most of you will know by now that Porsches are not something that really interests me. However, it's not entirely true, because that, that is absolutely awesome. And it's in behind it, actually one of my all-time want cars. Really, really like the 944. Actually, that's a really cool over there. Let's go look at that. There is a good lineup. Now, I do know what that is, but I can't remember what it is off the top of my head. That's beautiful. And then this. Now, at some point, this is going to be my made-it car. It's going to be a 944. Just beautiful. Absolutely superb. Really, really want one of those. The rest of this, another proper one. A proper big wing on the back. Yeah, that's cool. Like that. So, minis as far as the eye can see. Minis, minis. Uh, yeah, I like minis, but there's one thing I particularly like more than anything else. Mini Moak. The Mini Moke is absolutely fantastic. I have never seen a car that looks less like a car than the Mini Moke. I really would love one, but I think the concept of going out and driving it, utterly, utterly terrifying. Which makes me want to drive it, obviously. Oh God, the Minis just keep on going. As Morgan's go, I don't think there's anything I want to go in more than one of their three-wheelers. I've just, insanity, live and well. That is fantastic, especially with the, the finish on that. I really like it, Morgan. Morgan just are cool. Absolutely, superbly cool. And so cool to see modern cars, new cars, that still hark back to a wonderful ethos of the past. And then also a load of Triumph stacks. Lovely. Oh, and MG's over there. I need to talk to MG people. Now, by now, most of you will know that at some point I really want an MGB GT because I think it's one of the most cool cars ever developed. They are super, super pretty. Oh, that's, that's, that's the, like, the last one song of MG Rover. I don't think they made many, like very low number of those. So seeing one of those is super cool. That's a very cool car. Right, so anyway, I need to find a someone who's got an MG TF and ask them about engines because mine's got an issue. Is there any timeless beauty better than the C3? I suggest. I mean, I really want a C4, but if money no object, C3. Just glorious, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. Oh, that's nice. So it's that. There is a lot of very, very nice cars. Oh, as modern cars go, thanks to the 156, very cool, very, very cool. That's cool. Oh, that's absolutely stunningly pretty. Alphas do make nice cars, don't they? They really, really do. And that over there is stunning as well. Yes, please. What is that? I want to see that. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous lineup. There's not many car manufacturers, I think, that still make cars like through which you just go, oh, beautiful. Now, for one of those, everything they make, you're kind of like, yeah, that's really, really good. Like, you're walking through all of them, like, going from old all the way up to the new things. You're just like, oh, Alpha, you're doing it right. Keep making cool cars, please. Ah, oh, Lotuses. 
So the XL, follow on from mine. Vora 410, 400, I don't know. Oh, two plus two. Elise, Elise. Now, I think I really do like, oh, there's an Elise, let's look at that. But I think I really do like the Elan M100, car that doesn't get a lot of love, and in photos, I think hideous. In life, actually, the Lotus I want the most. I think they are awesome. I think it wears that blue gorgeously, so yeah, that's, that's, that's a car I want to bring to the channel at some point. However, oh, uh, it's an Eclat. So this is the, after the Elite was such a terrible selling thing, this uh, was what replaced it. So very similar on the inside. Oh, that's yeah. that more or less how the dash should look. And that's more or less an engine that should have rather than the V8, because the V8 was a stupid idea. Even if that's a, a poor engine to start off with, but very pretty car. Oh, another M100, that's very nice. Oh, that's some nice stuff here. Oh. And a spree. I'd love an spree. Oh no, there is an Elite. There we go, look at that. Oh, that's a beautiful colour for an Elite as well. Look, so, this is how the interior should look. Not a, not the interior. Look at that. All the mega toggle switches in there. That is fantastic. Oh, it looks so much better being that and not the Rover SD1. Oh, what? Oh, the Rover, the, oh, Europa S. The new Europa, which is like the at least, but not. That's cool. Anyway, back to that. That is absolutely stunning. God, I want to get my Elite working. That's got to be done. That really does. Seeing something like this, you're... Oh, a yellow spray. Look at that. As, I mean, obviously we're in Suffolk, but there is a good turnout of lotuses. Oh, a proper land. Oh, and over there as well. God, I'm just walking through lotuses now. Just enjoying them. Look at this spree. That is very pretty, as is. That's a glorious colour. Oh, and a turbo spray. This, this is, yeah, 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 yeah. This is good. Do want the Elan? My Elan really. Oh, there is, there is good, good things. Admittedly, now we're going through. Not interested about those things. They don't interest me too much. Oh, but that, whatever that is, that now, but that is mega cool. Oh, if I had money. Ah, oh, that fine. If I had money, I would totally go for that. As would I, that. Oh, the proper NXX. This is an amazing show because of the level of stuff. Like, oh, that's the proper NXX, NSX with pop-ups. That's that's a dream car right there. The Alpine there is mega. Let me go around here. BMWs, uh, Tuscan, and then things like the Triumph. Oh, another TF. I can find somebody in there, I can talk to them about my engine, and then just other stuff. Oh, and a famous YouTuber. So taking a break from being popular. Hello. Yeah, that's, that's another thing. Oh, what's taken my interest more <laughs> than JM on cars, uh, more than the FG, is the little 2, two uh, CV little Citroen, because that is beautiful. Really, really want one, but for them, what they're worth money-wise, they're worth silly money. However, what's also very, very cool is the Skoda. Look at that. That's mega. Side opening bonnet, I, that's just, that's all kinds of amazing. Oh, SD1. Again, that's how the dash for an SD1 should look, like that and not in a Lotus Elite. Oh, that's stunning. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> oh, <laughs> very, very cool. Also, equally very, very cool. These are the show cars. The really cool stuff, including things like DeLorean. Oh yeah, would definitely have one of those. I mean, apart from being absolutely iconic, apparently pretty terrible like some of those cars that's all about the looks and the status of it and the fact it had a small part in a small movie and then anything else but it's very cool with the cool doors next door to the lambo everything else around here kind of pales in insignificance creatively but what an absolutely wonderful collection of different different oh 
including that. Now, you may be thinking, but I'm attracted to the bug, and you'd be right. What I'm more attracted to is this. Now, I really, really, really want an AZ1, because I think they are brilliant. I really do. <laughs> A cake heart of just wonderful, wonderful coolness. Fox one's cool. Porsche's cool. But a lot of very, very cool cars. In fact, it's one of those shows that you just really need to come to to appreciate. Because, I mean, I've been wandering around and I've not seen everything. Oh, that's a very tidy, sleek uh, generation, uh, seventh generation. That's very, very nice. Oh. And that's a very tidy MR2. Oh. Oh, look at that. That's very nice. Cool. Nice one as well. Oh. See the doors on a. That's quite cool. Oh, I think over there. Is that a Fiat X19? It is. Wow, well, let's go and see what a Fiat X19 looks like in one piece as a complete car, because this will be a Oh. Rolls Royce. They're beautiful. So I think that's a Silver Ghost. That's very nice. Well, tell me if I'm wrong. However, Fiat X19, as it should be. Wow, look, that's what the interior of an X19 should look like if it was actually together. You know what? As a complete car, rather than a, a hulk inside the shed, that's really cool. Oh, man, that's familiar. Silver Shadow, like that we used to have in the shed. And a frog eyed sprite, very cool. MGB GT, that I really want. I'm definitely going to get one of those. That's nice. There legitimately is too many cool things to look at at this show. It just carries on. Ooh, look, MGTFs for sale amongst all these prestige cars. I wonder how much these mighty things... Oh my god, that is a lot more money than I paid for mine. I guess these probably work though. And it wasn't just MGTFs for sale, there were some very expensive and some very nice cars for sale. So, I'm now having to walk away from the clubs into the exhibitors area of just people who bought their cars and just wanted to show them off. And I've spent a lot of time at the other side chatting to people and looking at cars and talking. So this has started to clear out on where it was originally, but there's still an amazing variety of different cars. So I'm just gonna give you a couple of clips now, a bit of music to look into some cool cars. And as a really nice way to finish off the day, I got to see this Bond showing off its hugely impressive turning circle. What an absolutely bonkers little car. Well, it's coming towards the end of the day here at Helmingham. Several of the cars have disappeared and started leaving. 
So I've got myself a non-brand drink, hide the logo right there, and uh, I'm just going to sit back and just watch the cars leave, chill out and relax. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this brief look around some of the show here. Obviously I haven't done justice because it was amazing. I've been too busy talking to people, seeing cars and just meeting some of you guys. So um, if you have enjoyed this, coming up on the screen now is some of the other shows we've been to and um, just watching. Draw.